Welcome to our short tutorial of quick surface. Let's take a look at this example. It's quite a complex freeform um, object and of course I'll just use auto surface. In this case I will just leave everything as it is. Target quote count not too high, 2000. The feature that tells it's balanced so I don't have any symmetry here. So I'll just create my auto surface. We'll just wait a little bit until the software solves it and it will create a new automatic surface which is a free form and it's G2 continuous everywhere except at the extraordinary point. And you look how beautiful the layout it is. Maybe a human cannot make this because it's quite hard, it may get lost. And I press OK. So this is my surface and although it looks nice, some people will say OK, but this is a plane here on top and this is a cylinder here. How can I handle this situation? So here is what the quick surface can offer you. I will just use the building tools. We'll select the top with the magic wand with the sensitivity because this, uh, this is on the same plane, I'll just create a single plane for this one, go to primitives and create a plane, we'll check the quality, it looks quite good, and also I will use the mesh selection to pick this area and I will create the cylinder here. I will press OK. So now we have these two uh, primitives and I have my um, automatic surface. The problem now is how can I create a better hybrid model and this is what Quick Surface offers you. I can go and edit my uh, freeform surface. Of course you can manually drag and drop here. But what is the problem now that what we need to do is just to actually trim this here in a better way. So there is a function which is called offset by reference surfaces. And what it does for this specific um, Reform surface, it will take all the visible primitives and will use them to offset all these um, control points. What I mean is that if I had a cylinder, only the plane will be used. And let's try this now. We'll go and call the function. And this is the tolerance, actually, how close it searches to this primitive. So uh, the points to be taken into account, I press OK. And as you see, it just moves outward. So in this case, you can later apply trimming. You can always undo this operation. And now you see it selected what needs to be moved. So I will now show the cylinder. So also takes part into these calculations and go and use the same function offset by reference surfaces. 0.5 is OK in this case. I press OK. And as you see now, offset also the other part of the freeform surface for uh, being able to be trimmed. And I press close. Now I just use the normal trim operation. I will just uh, select all and select trim. The trim uh, function is initializing and it's all the services are covered in a different Cover so you can see, you can click and remove what you don't need. Or the other option, I will just reset the trim, is using our automatic trimming. And it is based on the um, scant model. It takes well into account what is underneath and then you press apply automatic trimming. As you see, all of them are trimmed. I press OK. And then I get now a nice finished model which uh, has uh, both um, perfect primitives and also it has the, the freeform. As you see the freeform surface is optimized with the minimum number of faces and what now we can do is actually because it's parametric you can come and you can actually start and modify your uh, surface and in this example because some of them are out of the reference mesh 
you, you make sure that you select don't move neighbors is on and also you um, turn on the snap mode I in this case will toggle the um, real-time deviation so I can see what's going on I'll just move this slightly so it can fit on my surface and I can repair the quality of my uh, shape here so it can lay on the, on the surface much better and here in this example this is also probably it's good if it is um, connected better for the on the mesh and then when I'm done I can press close and now because it's parametric everything will be recreated and you'll get another trimming and you'll get another new results which will get you closer to the desired surface which you need to create at any point you can press space so you can see the rendered result this is I need to do some more work here probably to get a better result but as you see within a couple of minutes we managed to reconstruct this complex shape and get the perfect results of what we want. I hope this is useful. Enjoy surfacing. Thank you.